is the largest global hedonistic pagan festival in U.S. history. Tomorrowland is held in Atlanta, Georgia. Over the next few days. Um, and it has a very Disney-like feel and theme to it. This is just so far off the scale where this world is heading and the amount of time, effort, money that is being expended by Satan and his minions to implement his agenda. These are transformational festivals. What they're trying to do is transform your mind into one that is of pure darkness. Now, on the surface, they, they, you know, from a worldly standpoint, oh, this is, this is about love, joy, peace, and, and having fun, and, and expressing yourself, and doing all of this stuff. There's nothing negative about it. Enter the world of Tomorrowland, and let yourself be a It is pure pagan debauchery. How the miracle of creation unfolds before your eyes. And come alive. I mean, that's what this is about, is getting you maximally demon-infested. So that your mind is so darkened with sin, you'll never ever in a, in a million years have a chance of getting saved. days of madness. Do not be sad or mourn this end. Be like the phoenix. Burning into her own flames and arising from her own ashes, never being afraid of the end. Because your, your conscience is seared with a hot iron, you've been turned over to a reprobate mind, and this is what Satan's wanting to get humanity doing. Um, he wants to get them all to that state as quickly as possible. So he emphasizes a lot of this too into the youth. I believe you've probably got to be 21 to go because I know there's a lot of drinking involved and you have to buy these tickets up front. So you can stay there on the grounds and you get to stay in your own little tent. And here's a little, I mean, you, this is a fact. The largest global transformation festival tomorrow ever held in the U.S., which dwarfs Burning Man, by comparison in size, reach, and global scope, will be this year in Georgia, uh, changes countries annually for the past 10 years. This year, it will have nearly 200,000 participants for three straight days. It broke every record for every global ticket sales of any type of event, including the Olympics and the Super Bowl. Now it is time when it sold out of the available 180,000 tickets and electronically the in one second. Why is no one covering this? At this point, there seems to be no evangelical outreach and a very small number of Christians are even aware of this. Now, remember what I said before, and the Bible said this on very clear occasions, like whenever you have particularly really perverse things because going on in the nation. And in that particular case in Deuteronomy, the Bible verses I'm, I'm thinking of, it, it referenced bestiality, and it referenced them with men women, with, with women. And okay, these are moral commandments. These are things that don't change. They're always going to be an abomination before God. For another chapter of Tomorrowland. You know, the Bible says, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, I change it not. Okay, so these are always going to be an abomination before God. There's multiple verses in the New Testament as well, which condemns homosexuality or bisexuality or, you know, all of that garbage that goes into that arena. And it says about these things that they defile the land, and because of these things, that the land vomiteth out her inhabitants. So, now, as we have this type of behavior, increasing at a breakneck speed, and, and, the, and the sins of, in this particular case, America, you know, reaching into the heavens, God's only going to put up with so much of it before judgment comes. It's just the way it always works out in the Bible. Every single time. When that happens, I don't know. I think God's been very merciful. I think a lot of the mercy um, is due to the remnant that's here. I think that the, the remnant that is in America and elsewhere has stayed the hand of God from judgment on planet Earth um, for a long time. And then it says in the next verse, Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Um, Jeremiah 7, 28, But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. 
And when you see the images of these things, it's like, wow, yeah, they're definitely not obeying the voice of God. Okay? This is unbridled just carnality and debauchery that's being glorified, essentially. And witchcraft. Really what a lot of this boils down to is witchcraft. Is what they're participating in. In a mass witchcraft event. Which, ultimately, the goal of Satan regarding that also would be to usher in the... Um, the Antichrist and false prophet through all of this negative energy that devils and demons literally feed off of. The common denominator of the one world religion under Antichrist. You can take an amalgamation of every single false black death cult on the planet. Whatever ism you want to pick, Buddhism, Catholicism, whatever. All of these works-based death cults and amalgamate them into one system with witchcraft as its backbone, and that is what I believe will be the, the coming one world religion under Antichrist and false prophet. I mean, this whole concert is nothing but pure evil. What goes on there the whole weekend is pretty much all pure evil. And chose that which I delighted not. Psalm 97 verse 10, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. The purest of heart can only find the key, evidently, to Tomorrowland, when it's, it's the exact opposite. The The event that they put on is, I'm talking, like, they are spending millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to put this on. So, what does that tell you? This must be very important to Satan, that this go forth, and that this prosper. All these different images of this literal city that they erect in the confines of this Tomorrowland, uh, nether, dreamlike, Alice in Wonderland, Walt Disney, Satan world. This is a whole other level of satanic things that they're trying to do in order to get you as demon infested as possible. I mean, it's just unreal. And one man is footing the bill, a multi-billionaire. Uh, the, the music is a techno music, binaural beats is, is the so-called music. It's propaganda that's getting them ready for the world teacher, uh, Maitreya. Um, likely candidate for uh, some type of... He claims he's everything. He claims he's the w awaited one world savior of all the major religions, okay? That's what he says. I'm not saying he's the Antichrist or the false prophet, but... I do believe he's going to play a pretty major part if he's not one of them. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 says, In whom the God of this world, meaning Satan, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Are never what they seem. Try not to understand, because it is impossible. It's going to get more and more overtly occult as these things develop. I mean, Burning Man's totally in-your-face occult. I mean, that's just flat out, we're witches, we're here, we're New Age, we're here to work witchcraft. We're gathering together because there's more power. You know, this has been almost like programming that's been put into humanity's mind for a long time. Now it's more of a manifestation of this. This is just so far off the scale where this world is heading and the amount of time, effort, money that is being expended by Satan and his minions to implement his agenda.